What's up guys, Rob Sambles here. How are you guys doing? I hope you're good. Welcome to a new video. So tonight is Wednesday night um, and I've just finished watching the Tottenham Ajax game. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Last night obviously the Liverpool-Barcelona game, even more unbelievable. Wow, what a couple of games. Um, hopefully you guys got to watch them if you are football fans. Soccer fans for my viewers out there in the States. Um, crazy, crazy. Good to see two English teams make it into the Champions League final. Um, it's in Madrid, so unfortunately I won't be there. I won't be photographing it. Um, but wow, that would be a, would be an awesome event to photograph, um, especially for an English photographer. And I'm sure there'll be a lot of them out there. Um, so today's video going to be a little bit shorter. Today we are keeping it... Uh, purely tutorial based. We're going to be talking about how you use uh, code replacements in Photo Mechanic. Something um, fairly basic to some of you guys, I'm sure, but really, really useful. Um, it's a great tip. It saves you so much time when you are using your photos or running your photos through Photo Mechanic. And I get asked a lot of questions about it, so I thought we would get into the laptop and we would have a look um, and show you how it works. Anyway, let's get into this video. It's gonna be a good one, let's go. So before we start talking photo mechanic guys, I'm going to talk to you about all the usual things I always talk to you about. First of all, if you're new around here, please do think about subscribing. Loads more videos like this, loads of other videos already on my channel, loads more to come. So please, if you're new around here and you haven't already, please do think about subscribing. Um, it's great to get all of you guys involved. If you find this video useful, which I think hopefully, hopefully, a lot of people will. Please do smack the like button, smash it like you mean it. Show me that you like the video, show me that you found it useful. Um, there might be some follow-up questions coming from this one, so please feel free to whack those in the comments as well. Um, hopefully you guys see, I always try and come back on the comments and I try to answer all the questions um, and everything that people put down there. I always read all of the comments, um, so please do follow up with any other questions that you've got down there. Don't forget to go check out my social media channels. You can find me on Instagram, mostly for my sports stuff. You want to be checking out at Rob Samble Sport. You can also find me over there, especially my basketball stuff, at Scorchers Photog. And I've also got my, um, my general, more travel, landscape-focused channel, at Rob Samble's Photo. You can also find me on Twitter, also using at Rob Samble's Photo. I put loads of stuff on there. I put loads of behind-the-scenes stuff from sports events, some of my own bits as well. And I always tweet out and talk about when the videos are coming up and when they're going to be live. So make sure you follow along on both those channels um, for updates. So without any further ado, guys, we're going to talk about how you use code replacements in Photo Mechanic. Like I said before, for a lot of people, it's going to be a fairly, um, a fairly basic skill and you might be thinking, well, I know how to do that already. But you know what? There's going to be loads of people out there who don't know how to do it much like I was when I first started and in fact in fact much like all of you guys were when you first started because no one knows how to do it um, until you learn how to do it right so let's have a quick look um, and maybe you might find out something new at the same time so anyway let's get into the computer um, and let's have a look let's go Okay guys, so obviously the first thing you're going to need is your photo mechanic open and I've just picked an old um, game that I've worked on here. Um, I've got the full game in there but we actually for the sake of this example are only going to talk about these three photos here. Now the first thing you need to do uh, in order to use code replacements is actually come out of photo mechanic altogether and you will need to set yourself up with a blank um, word document, specifically a text document but that's just to do with how you save it and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Now you will need um, two text documents, or at least I find it useful to split them up into two different ones and the first one that you are going to want to use is a code replacement for all of the players involved in the game. Now there's a number of places you can get this from. Obviously you'll get the team sheets at the various events that you're at. Um, but otherwise with some certain squads you can look it up in advance. There's websites you can get them from. Or if it's a team you shoot all the time like I do with Fulham. Then you probably will have that team uh, or squad sheet already saved somewhere. But it's very simple. All you're going to do is you're going to want to type one letter and one number that for you references that player. So let's say for example we're going to be using Ryan Sessegnon of Fulham as our example. 
example, we will want to type F3. The reason we want F3, because F for Fulham, 3 is the number that Ryan Sessegnon um, always wears. You then want tab. Um, you just need to make sure that that is a small letter, which sometimes goes wrong. I oh, will fix it afterwards, but sometimes that goes wrong. Um, and you just, you just you press tab, and then over here you're going to type Ryan Sessegnon of Fulham. And you would go all the way down, um, you know, F10, uh, for example, is Tom Kearney, and so on and so on and so on. Um, like I said, make sure they're small letters. And make sure this gap here is um, is a tab and not spaces, right? So you, you want to tab that one across. Once it's all filled out, it is going to look something like this. So this is the example of the one um, from my previous game, um, Fulham versus Watford. We've got all the players, and you can see literally all the way down, all the Fulham players... And then also all the Watford players as well. And that's how you're going to want that set up, right? It's simple as that. The important thing is you're going to need to save this as a text file. Now, I'm actually using OpenOffice. If you're using OpenOffice, it sets by default um, to a text document. If you're using Word, it will um, set it by default to a, a doc document, a Word file. Um, so you just need to make sure that when you're doing save as, that you save it as a text file. So the dot um, txt. And you're going to save it down as that, um, whatever you want to call it. I call it like a name like this of the, um, the team sheet, but whatever you want to call it um, is the best way to do it. So you're also going to need a second text file. Now, this is the one that I use for what I call football phrases. These are some of the phrases I use, not all of them, but I put these ones in as, as an example. Now, for me, the way I do this is I use three letters and I use the three letters that will remind me easily of the phrase. So, for example, one phrase I've got is celebrates his goal. So for me, nice and easy, CHG celebrates his goal. You can see I've got things in there like IFB is fouled by. Um, I've got um, RYC which is receives a yellow card and so on and so on and so on. Now you can take this as far as you want. You can add as many different phrases as you feel you might need in a typical game or things that you might want to better type out quickly without typing this whole sentence. Because once we get this into photo mechanic the idea is that we will be able to type um, RSY rather than typing receives a red card following a second yellow card which obviously takes a lot longer to type out. Okay so now we are back over into photo mechanic and we assu are assuming um, that you have got all of those um, text files set up. Now all you need to do is now link those text files into um, your photo mechanic. Now you do that up here you're going to go to file across to edit down here to settings and then over here to set code replacements. So this default box comes up here and then you're just going to press add so that you can then go and find the files that you want to add in here. And for us, it's the two that we did just now. OK, so here they are. So we can set them both at the same time. We press open and you'll see it puts them both into here. You press OK. And that now means that we have got those text files saved into our photo mechanic and ready to use. Now, all you have to do there to use them is in the various sections where you've got your photos in here, you're going to want to press this I logo. Now, that brings up your stationary pad. Now, I'm going to assume for this um, that you already know how to fill in your stationary pad and it's already filled in. It's got all the details in there. Don't worry if you don't. I'm going to be doing a future video down the line about how to fill all of this in um, in a bit more detail. This um, actually... Um, looks like this and has a lot more fields in it. This is a blank one. Um, but I'm going to talk a little bit more about this um, another time. Right now, um, we're at a stage where we, we are assuming that you have already got that filled in and you're just literally at a stage where you want to add your captions um, to your images. So as I said, from here, you will go to this I button and in here is going to where you want to um, add your caption. So we've got a photo of Ryan Sessegnon. Now, as we know, we um, filled in a code replacement for Ryan Sessegnon. It was F3. Now, all you have to do to get it to appear is you press the backstroke button. You type F3. And as soon as you press backstroke again, so you're going to press another backstroke button, it will appear just like that. Ryan Sessegnon of Fulham. Now, you can add something on the end. You could put, you know, passes the ball uh, or whatever you want to add on there. 
Of course, we could have a code replacement set up for PTB, pass the ball, so it'd be even quicker to do than that. And that's done. You've got that all done. All you have to do is you press save and across, and that goes to the next image, which takes us to this one. If you go back just to check, you can see it's in there already. But now we're at the next image here. Now, the idea of the code replacement is you do not have to know who all the players are. So, for example, you might look at this photo and you might be struggling as to who those players are. But it doesn't matter because you can see their numbers. We can say this is number 25 for Watford and this is number 19 for Fulham. So all we need to do is type in here, backstroke, F19. And there we go. It appears. We found out it's Vieto. I knew it was Vieto, but if anyone didn't, it's in there. Um, and we could put, like, maybe moves um, forwards with, and then we do backstroke W25, backstroke, and it comes up with Jose Holobas uh, of Watford. Um, and we could maybe say, you know, well, we don't need caps lock. Um, we could maybe say, you know, chasing, or you could be uh, applying pressure, you know, whatever you want to put. But the idea ring is much, much quicker saving across now this is a photo of uh, alexandra mitrovic celebrating his goal it's a shame this photo because the sky was just so white that day it's a bit blown out but anyway the actual photo itself is cool now what i want this caption to say is alexandra mitrovic of fulham celebrates his goal now i can do that really quickly with the code replacements right we know alexandra mitrovic is number nine for fulham so it'll be backstroke F9 backstroke and then I've already put in celebrates his goal so backstroke CHG backstroke and it appears in there just to show you how quick we could do that in real time with those code replacements you literally could say F9 celebrates his goal just like that so you can see you don't have to go through typing it all out it's literally in there and it's done and you can be moving on to your next photo once you've done all the ones you want you press OK, and it's as simple as that, guys. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's how you use code replacements in Photo Mechanic. Hopefully, you guys found that useful. If you did, please do whack that thumbs up button, hit the like button, show me that you found it good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My next video will be up next week, as always. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys on the next video.